Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Okarchi High School. It is continuing coverage of the Class A Area 1 Regional Tournament. And we've got a great doubleheader for you tonight to wrap up our four games in one big day of basketball as the Thomas Lady Terriers and Terrier Boys will take on the Okarchi Lady Warriors and the Warrior Boys as well. Tom Nelson, Adam Dieselhorst with you, and our girls' game is first. The Lady Terriers 11 and 7 on the season. Okarchi 13 and 5, ranked number 8 in Class A. But the one time these two teams hooked up this year, it was, well, it was all Thomas. They won by 9, 52 to 43. So a couple of teams who are very familiar with each other because they play in the same conference. They've seen each other enough this year. Yeah, I mean, that's obviously because of uh, the way COVID did some things. They probably didn't play each other as much as they normally would. But, you know, you always like to see, you know, you expect that in a regional tournament to be playing a team probably from your conference, you know, and this is a great matchup of just two great historic basketball programs on the girls' side. How cool is it to see Jim Petrie over there coaching the, you know, the Lady Terriers, and then obviously you have Haley Mitchell and, and her mom, you know, the story with all yeah. of that. So a really cool matchup. I'm excited to get to watch this. You talked about it, Tom. I can't remember the last time we actually got a call at Thomas girls basketball game, so I'm excited about you know calling one of their games. It'll be fun. You take a look at Thomas. They've won five of their last eight, those three losses in their last eight, to B number two Leedy, A number three Ceiling, and A number two Hydro Eakley. That's a pretty tough schedule. Okarchi's won six of their last seven, but they have really been having to deal with COVID. They went almost a month between games early in the year, and they've only played one game since January 26th. That was last week's district win over Depew, 67 to 34. We'll take a break and be right back. Tip off is coming up from Okarchi. Finally, it's time to get that driver's license, but which option to choose? The DMV with the long lines, the not so pleasant desk clerk. That's the way it has to be. And taking off work and still not getting in. This office is now closed. Or go to Cowboy Driving Academy. With a relaxed atmosphere, they make it convenient for you, whether it's after hours, on holidays, or even inclement weather. For details, go to CowboyDriving.com. Cowboy Driving Academy, they keep you moving. Well, isn't that nice? In OKC, go to alertdrivingok.com. Our middle daughter actually has a heart defect, and uh, we didn't find that out until we found out um, when she was about 12, she had a genetic disorder. She has two right coronary arteries and no left. Luckily to this day, she hasn't had any symptoms, but you know, there's always that chance that something will happen, um, and it's, it's kind of scary. She has to visit the cardiologist every once in a while, more often than you and I definitely would, just to get CAT scans and MRIs to make sure everything is still going the way it's supposed to go. But every year when that happens, who knows what you're gonna find. I'm extremely excited about the All of Us Research Program. I wanted to participate not only because I wanted more cardiology research for my daughter and for our family, but also it's definitely a huge step in the right direction that we've been waiting for for a long time. Nice socially distanced crowd on hand here tonight at Okarchi's relatively brand new gymnasium. This is the second year, first time I've had a chance to broadcast a game in here. It is fantastic. And a great Three Rivers Conference rivalry, Thomas and Okarchi. Starting lineup in this one, first of all for Thomas, Caitlin Jones, a senior, scores six points per ball game. Sophomore Berkeley Wright averages eight points per game. Shaley Maddox, a senior, scores five a contest. Sydney Hampton, a sophomore, averages five a game, and sophomore Kyla Megley averages 11 points per ball game. She had a team high 17 when Thomas beat Okarchi 52 to 43 back on January 15th. For Okarchi, Sophie Vandendree, she's a junior. She scored six points in that first matchup. Sophomore Emma Stover scored a team high 21. Jaylee Rother had three points. She's a sophomore. Ryan Whitrock, a junior, who scored five, and Madison Owens. A senior who scored six in that earlier matchup. So for Thomas, Jones, Wright, Maddox, Hampton, and Megley. For Okarchi, Vandendrishi, Stover, Rother, Whitrock, and Owens. Haley Mitchell at Okarchi. 
Jim Petrie has been at Thomas for a long time. Had a whole bunch of success there. And you look at Thomas, they're playing a ranked team tonight. They're two and six against ranked teams this season. One of those two wins is the win over Okarchi. As Okarchi ranked eighth, a record of 13 and five. Thomas is 11 and seven. This should be fun. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I went over and talked to Coach Petrie before the game. You know, in my eyes, he's one of the better coaches in the area and has been for a long time. And, you know, he was retired and came back to coach the girls. And he was telling me about, you know, obviously they didn't get a start until late because of their boys' football team run to the state finals. And then they had a stretch where they played Ceiling and Hydro and Leedy, like back to back to back. So they've played a tough schedule. You know, that's probably why they have seven losses. This is a really evenly matched game, and I, I can't wait to watch it. Okarchi, the home whites, the gold numbers trimmed in purple. And uh, Thomas, the road greens, the white numerals trimmed in black. We are underway. So glad to have you with us on Scordal, wherever you may be watching tonight from Okarchi High School. Skip the pass, left side, Jaylee Rother on the left wing has it. Now top to Madison Owens, sliding right now, passing back to Rother left side. They work it into the post to Emma Stover. Nice look to her, and she finishes. Emma had 21 the last time these two teams hooked up. Off to a great start. Yeah, great job there. Being patient by Okarchi, working the post, and, you know, good power move. Maddox passing across the timeline. It's intercepted by Madison Owens. That's a staple of something you see from Coach Mitchell. They're going to put pressure on and try to turn you over. Right to the basket. Layup up and in. Crawling in for Sophie Vandendrieschi. Good start for Okarchi girls. To pick up that pressure. Now Thomas has the numbers. Two on one back the other way. But the ball tipped out of bounds. Was last touched by Emma Stover. It will stay with Thomas. Thomas beat Pioneer in their district game 57-32 last week. Okarchi knocked off Depew 67-34. The only game that Okarchi's played since late January. Fight for the rebound underneath. The tie-up and the arrow keeps it on that end with Thomas. We talked about it before the game, too. Okarchi's a little bit uh, you know, short as well as Thomas. Both teams have knee injury issues with uh, key players. Baseline right throw in for the... Lady Terriers. Caitlin Jones will hand off to Berkeley Wright. Back to Jones. To the baseline goes Berkeley Wright. The little late footer is no good. Here come the Lady Warriors on the run. All the way to the cup, there's some contact oh. and a travel call. There's Great call. Ryan Whitrock is booked for traveling. First turnover of the night for the Lady Warriors. Now, defensive side of the ball for Okarchi, you're going to see the zone press, and then you're also going to see him drop back into a matchup zone where Thomas is going to play very solid man defense the whole game. Cross court left side. Shot is up and in. They're going to count that basket. I believe they will as Shaley Maddox. So free throws are coming. Offensive rebound for Maddox. And across to Megley. Work it high to Sydney Hampton. And a tie up. This arrow goes to Okarchi. And we see Thomas with a little bit of pressure, too, as well. In the half court comes Jaylee Rother. She'll hand it off to Ryan Whitrock, and they'll work it out high. Sliding left with the dribble, Madison Owens. Good Top look. of the key, Jaylee Rother. Nice look underneath, finding Emma Stover. Yeah, he had an whistle. He blew his whistle up top. So it'll stay with Okarchi, the baseline left throw in. 5.51 to play in the first quarter. The Warriors lead the Terriers 4-2. Driving the baseline is Whitrock, and she stepped on the baseline. That is turnover number two. Okarchi averages 58 points a game. They give up 39 per contest. Thomas scores 43 a contest, giving up 38. 
I could see this being a game in the 40s more than the 50s. Three in the right corner off the side of the backboard. The offensive rebound for Sydney Hampton, and she was fouled by Madison Owens. That's one tough thing. When you're playing zone defense, you got to make sure you find a body oh. and block out. It's on Stover, not Owens. 11, not 22. Baseline left throw in. Ooh, not a good decision. Well, tried to bounce it underneath right into the hands of Madison Owens. Coast to coast the other way, and she'll be fouled. Now, Madison, the lone senior on Okarchi's team, I believe. Is that correct? Yes, it is. She's kind she's of a, one of those ones you've been talking about her for years, yeah. it seems like. Yeah, she kind of keeps them going, you know. She's the she's the, the, the hub and the wheel. Free throw up and in. Second one good. Five twenty-four to play. The four-point lead early at six to two. That bounce pass was deflected away by Madison Owens. She gets a hand in the passing lane at a bounds. It will stay with Thomas. Okarchi. They won the Three Rivers Conference tournament this year, which was in Fairview. I can look at that. I was going to see what happened to Thomas in that Three Rivers tournament. I believe. Uh, who did Karchi play in the final? Oh, Karchi played with Tonga in the No. I can't remember they played in the final. I can tell you that. There's a three right side. Is that knocked down by Caitlin Jones? No, that was uh, Berkeley Wright. I was looking, trying to find my info there. So now Thomas goes on top five to four. I'll take it back, six to five. They're still trailing. There we go. Good There's a three in the corner. That's an answer. Madison Owens with her first triple. First field goal as well. She has five after a couple of early free throws. And it's nine to five. Let's see, in that three reverse tournament, they lost in the first round to Watonga. Thomas did. Yeah. Yeah. I believe Okarchi played with Tonga girls in the finals, maybe. I can't remember. I know they won it, but I know it wasn't Cash and Girls. Was it? They played uh, They played Fairview in the finals. Again, yeah, they beat Watonga in the semis and OBA in the first round. We had a 30 second timeout here. So I'm just well, go ahead and keep it right here yeah, as I'm bet. trying. Looking at that, we're talking about something else. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> you, you know, you take a look at uh, the rest of this uh, regional tournament. Earlier today, the Pioneer girls knocked off Depew 52-43. to The Pioneer boys a 60-40 to win over Drumright. At the sub-regional side up at Pond Creek Hunter High School this afternoon, the OBA girls beat Wellston 48-33, to and the Woodland boys beat OBA 64-54. to the two winner's bracket games going on up there, Woodland versus Calumet on the girls' side. Later on, it's Wellston and Calumet. All those teams will matriculate here on Monday and Tuesday. Three in the corner. Missing by Madison Owens and a fight for the rebound underneath and a foul against Okarchi. Sophie Vandendries, will pick it up. It's her first. And that is team foul number three. They'll break the pressure into the half court. Nice look down low to Berkeley Wright. She steps behind the defender, a little step back and knocks down the jumper off the window. Now Berkeley's a good little player just for being a sophomore. She's very confident. She has four points, nine to seven the score. Journey Roberts is in the ball game for Thomas. She's a junior. She delivered the assist last time. Kyla Megley picks up the foul for Thomas. That's her first. And into the ballgame, Jaden Rother for Okarchi. Off the inbounds pass. The three from the left corner is no good by Jaylee Rother. Chase that ball down. Who comes up with it? Thomas. Sydney Hampton passing ahead now and hurrying to the basket. Now the drive and the dish off right side to Jernay Roberts. The ball out of bounds will go back to Okarchi. You know, if you're, if you're Roberts there, you need to use the backboard on that shot. I'm sure that's what Coach Petrie's probably going to tell her. 
Halfway through the first quarter, the Warriors, Lady Warriors lead the Lady Terriers 9-7. Around the perimeter left side, Jaden Rother, a freshman. One dribble back up high to Vanden Drieschi to the high post now to Emma Stover. They'll work it right side to Jaylee Rother. You see Thomas in a 2-3 zone here. Trying to combat the size inside from Stover. We're going to get job. Stover for traveling. You want to keep track of what's going on in Class A across the state. The ticker, the Scordal ticker across the top of your screen, focusing on the Class A playoff games across Oklahoma. Little 14 footer in the lane comes up way short for Sydney Hampton. Here comes Jaden Rother. Rother attacks. Now the baseline will dribble out. Top side to Jay Lee, and Jay Lee's called for traveling. Four first quarter turnovers now for Okarchi. Three minutes to play in the first quarter. Not a good Pass decision. Pass across the timeline, intercepted by Madison Owens, and Owens gave it right back. Nice look. look underneath to the cutting. Kylie, Kyla Megley, she missed the shot. The offensive rebound for Megley, and she's fouled, and Kyla will shoot too. She gives herself a little smile as she realizes she should have made that, but she will go to the line for the opportunity. Megley averages 11 points a game, leads them in scoring on the season, misses the free throw. Carson Valorand will check into the contest for Okarchi. Rena Dobbins also in for Thomas. One for two at the stripe for Megley, her first points of the contest. One for three at the line as a team now for Thomas early on. And it's nine to eight. Another turnover. And a turnover, oh, another one. Right Give back. it right back. Rother can't finish. But Okarchi keeps the possession. Posting up is Carson Valoran. Turn around. Shot no good in the rebound. Cleared by Caitlin Jones. Outlet ahead to Rihanna Dobbins. Cross-court pass left side. 12-footer by Maddox is no good. And the rebound to Sophie Vandendriesche. Here comes Vandendriesche all the way to the right wing. Leaves it out to the right wing to Jaden Rother now. Top side, Madison Owens. Weave out high, Jaylee Rother. Three on the wing with a hand in her face is buried by Sophie Vandendriesche. That was a tough shot there. 12 to eight, the score. Ball loose in the floor and they will let it stay on that end with Thomas. Berkeley right back into the ball game for Thomas. 1.43 to play in the first quarter. Lady Warriors by four. Berkeley right in the corner finds Shaley Maddox. Back out high now. Dobbins, left side Berkeley right back out high to Dobbins. She fumbles and gets it right back. Then her bounce past the timeline is loose. And finally picked up by Maddox. Megley, left baseline Roberts and then a foul underneath Vanden she picks up her second free throws are coming for Berkeley Wright yeah you know the issue there is they just let her they let uh, again give Wright credit she did a great job of slashing to the middle of that zone Whitrock back into the contest also getting in there is Sage Griswold for Okarchi. Second opportunity coming for the sophomore, Rod, who's off to a quick start. Two for two. She's got seven. She's a good player. You can just tell. Three for the answer. Yes, ma'am. Ryan Whitrock just came off the uh, bench after getting a little bit of a break and knocks down the triple. 15 to 10. A minute to play in the first quarter. 
Out high, Berkeley right. Nice look inside. Wide open is Jernay Roberts, and she scores. Good job posting up there. Well, she turned Ooh. around. There was nobody there. The cross-court pass is telegraphed and intercepted for the easy layup on the other end. I say it's easy. It was missed by Maddox. The follow by Wright is no good, and now a travel called underneath. It was not a very good possession for Thomas there. Obviously, have the opportunity to cut the lead to one there, and then they, they miss both easy baskets and then travel under the basket. Jaden Rother will look over to the sideline, and they may play for one here, 24 seconds to play. You see Thomas kind of come out and extend their zone now a little bit. It's a travel, travel. good call. Yep. Okarchi's turned the ball over seven times in the first quarter. But Thomas has turned it over six. Has not been, has not been clean. No, it has so not. So far, the officiating has been great. Really has been. It even seems better for some reason. <laughs> As a double dribble. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I had to laugh at that one. <laughs> and bounce the ball up. Oh, not a smart decision there. Eaton clock off. Rother across the timeline, four seconds and three. Rother to the baseline. Good look. Nice look inside. Oh, wow. That is Carson Valorand, and she'll score at the buzzer. Good first quarter. Okarchi leads Thomas 17 to 12. Eight minutes in. We'll take a break and be right back. You're watching Game of the Week playoff action on Scordo, brought to you by High Plains Insurance. Are you looking for a bank that provides excellent security and safety for your account information? Then Bank Central is made for you. When you use our website, bcna.com, you can pay bills, check account balances, download statements, and even manage your debit card. With our mobile app, you can do all that, plus make deposits as easily as taking a picture with your phone. Talk to a CSR at any of our five locations to find the products that work best for your banking needs. At Bank Central, we're centered on you. Member FDIC. The High Plains Insurance Agency takes pride in keeping up with many changes in the crop insurance industry and keeping their insurers informed of these changes. The goal is to help each farmer customize their crop insurance to meet their needs. Thanks for your continued business. And remember, call Amy, Carissa, or Danny at High Plains Insurance in Medford and Loyal at 580-395-2447 or toll free at 1-800-346-4056 for a quote today. Adam, you were talking about the tough schedule that Thomas has played. You look at who Okarchi didn't play this year because of uh, cancellations, because of COVID and whatever, and of you know, Calumet, Nil Omega, Cashin, Ampo. Those were all games they were supposed to play. COVID won. And, uh, you know, it's time to get ready for the postseason. And a lot of times, you know, usually Okarchi, you know, they're, they're battle tested by now. Not quite as much this year. Yeah, I was talking to Coach Mitchell before the game, and I think they believe this is just their second game in the last 17 days, yeah, I think. Exactly. They played their district game last week. They hadn't played. And I'll tell you this in a second is the banker up and in for Kyla Megley. Her first field goal, she has three to make it 17 to 14. Yes, they had not played. They played one game, that district game, last week since January 26. So we're talking like, we're talking like 25 days, one yeah. game in 25 days. Three on the left wing. Yes, ma'am. Knocked down by Ryan Whitrock. Her second triple of the contest. She has six. Three three-pointers made for the Lady Warriors so far. There's a turnover. The eighth for O'Thomas. The lead is six a minute into the second quarter. Oh. Skip it right side. Ryan Whitrock to the baseline. She's cut off there. Good job by... Caitlin Jones to say, you're not getting to my baseline. <laughs> and the pass deflected out of bounds into the Thomas bench. We will be back with you on Tuesday night for a regional championship action from right here in Okarchi on the Scordal game of the week. Nice look inside, the finish by Valorand. Just Carson Valorand, second field goal, she has four. It's really good offense there by Okarchi. 
Jones, pull up 13 footer, yes ma'am. They needed that one, 22-16. Work it inside, Emma Stover's turn around a little strong and the ball, book a foul on the rebound that will go against Stover, it's her second. Well, that's a silly foul for Stover too, I mean, you don't want to be committing a foul 90 feet from your basket because you make a mistake and don't, you know, make what looked to be a pretty easy bump inside. Wow. Shot off the window a little strong for Berkeley Wright. Here comes Jaden Rother into the half court, one on four. She'll wait for teammates. Oh, oh goodness. bad pass intercepted by Sydney Hampton. Hampton ahead to Berkeley Wright and misses another layup. That's the second point Blake layup Thomas has missed. Yeah, they've missed. They had that one possession where they missed three in a row. Yep. Timeout. We'll take it with them. 534 to play in the first half. Lady Warriors 22, Lady Terriers 16. It's the game of the week on Scordal presented by High Plains Insurance. Staff Insurance has many options when it comes to protecting life's biggest investments in Oklahoma. From home, auto, and farm, let us help you find the best rates and discounts to cover your needs. Give us a call for a free quote. Go Warriors! We talk about the history of these two teams. The recent history, a year ago, Karchi went 27-4. Made it to the state semifinals, lost to Hydro Weekly. What a great team Hydro Weekly was a year ago. Jeez. And for Thomas, they struggled last year. 12 and 14 got beat on Friday at Regionals by Cheyenne. Right here, this is normally Thursday at Regionals when you're keeping track of it that way. Because of the weather, of course, pushed back to Saturday, Monday, Tuesday. Three on the right side, a little strong by Ryan Whitrock. You know, having that day off between the first and second round games is big, too. Usually you play three games in three days if you're on the loser side of that bracket. Teams that win today will be able to prepare for Monday or Tuesday. Berkeley Wright in traffic, misses the eight-footer. Out of bounds, it will stay on that end with Thomas. Sophie Vandendrieschi back into the contest. I'm getting pretty good at that name. We've been talking about Sophie Vandendrieschi for a couple of years now. V-A-N-D-E-N-D-R-I-E-S-S-C-H-E. Three-pointer right side. Berkeley Wright. She's a good player, Tom. Double figures with 10. 22-19. Post-up move, she traveled, shuffled the puppies. Emma Stover. Oh, not a good uh, pass. Cross court is intercepted. Emma Stover comes up with it back the other way. Stover draws contact. She'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. We've seen a few of those tonight. Those telegraph cross-court passes make it too easy. You know, one thing you see a lot, and we talk about this, when teams are pressing and, you're, and it's a zone press, if you're the guards out top and you get any kind of advantage, it's not a bad thing every once in a while to pass fake and make that zone move. It seems like every obvious pass is rushed. You know, and it's easy for the defense to react. Um, you don't see a lot of, you know, reversing the ball or a lot of ball faking. So far, Okarchi's perfect at the line, four for four. The lead is five, 24 to 19. Trapped in the corner is Berkeley Wright. She gets rid of it out of the middle of the floor to Kylie Megley. And out there by herself for the easy layup. They broke the pressure. Shaylee Maddox has four points. 24-21, halfway through the first half, uh, second quarter. Four minutes to play in the first half. Jay Lee Rother to the baseline was cut off. The ball rolling along the floor now before it's picked up by Sydney Hampton. 
Hampton. 17-foot jumper short for Caitlin Jones. Here comes Jay Lee Rother across the timeline to Van Den and right back to Rother. Winner moves on to play for the regional championship on Tuesday night. The loser has to come back and play on Monday and try to work their way to area through the loser's bracket. Three-pointer left side off the heel by Ryan Whitrock. Megley wants to attack. She drives and dishes right side, finding Berkeley right off the window. No good. Rebound chased down in the corner by Emma Stover. Pushing it ahead is Ryan Whitrock. Right into traffic, she loses the basketball. Shaley Maddox has it. Under three to play in the first half, a three-point lead for Okarchi. These teams look tired. Three for the tie. Short for Berkeley Wright. Stover with the board. Row third of the right wing. Owens floats one to Stover. Ooh. Thomas down by one. Three-pointer would tie this one up. It's a good job there by Coach Petrie to slow it down. Just a lot of action back and forth and rush shots. And Thomas will slow it down and get a good shot. Three for the tie. Caitlin Jones buries it. Five points for her. Five all here in the quarter. Second three-pointer of the night made for Thomas. And we are tied at 24. Timeout called. 2.08 to play in the first half. You're watching playoff basketball on Scordal. Presented by High Plains Insurance. First Bank is a proud supporter of Okarchi Warrior Basketball. Visit us on the web at www.firstbankokarchi.com. Take us around the world with our internet banking, mobile banking, and debit cards. Everyone at First Bank wishes the boys and girls good luck. Member FDIC. Is your school or booster club looking for ways to fundraise? Let Downtown Threads create a custom website to showcase all your school apparel. You pick the design and the garment, we do the rest. We will handle all the payments and cut you one check when the website is closed. Call today, 580-237-7060. Downtown Threads, proudly supporting all local high school athletes. As a local member-owned electric cooperative, Cimarron Electric is committed to providing the highest quality of service at a reasonable price. We're dedicated to serving our member owners with integrity, accountability, innovation, and a commitment to community. For more information, call or visit our website. Cimarron Electric Cooperative, serving Northwest Oklahoma since 1936 and powering the needs of a new generation. Our first tie of the game comes with 2.08 to play in the first half. Okarchi and Thomas tied at 24. Girls, regional winner's bracket action here from Okarchi High School. Three for the lead. Got nice. it. Sophie Vandendrichi, her second triple. She has eight points. 27-24. Thomas will keep it. I said that I thought this ball game might play into the 40s. It's a little higher scoring than that. It might be 50s or 60s at this rate. Yeah, if, the, if the two teams can start taking care of the ball, too, it'll yeah. be a lot of points put up. There's too many turnovers. Megley, oh, nice look inside. Finding Jerem Jernay Roberts. And then it's Megley to finish. She has five. And one thing Okarchi has not done a very good job of is off missed shots, not rebounding out of that zone, and that's obviously can be a big time, you know, can kill you in these games like this. Too many green jerseys right there. That pass intercepted. There were three Lady Terriers around where that pass was going into the post, and it was easy to pick off. 12 turnovers for Okarchi. 53 seconds remaining in the first half. To the baseline goes Megley. Left side open three, Jones. That should stay on that. Ooh, it's going to go to Thomas. Never assume. Yeah, I think Coach Petrie wanted one shot there with a 
down one with 38 seconds to go. I think that's what he was a little bit disappointed about. Probably see Okarchi do that here. 30 seconds to play in the first half. Sage Griswold skips it right side to Jaden Rother. Back around the perimeter. Left side, there's Griswold for three. Foul. The, the ball just go out of bounds. Oh, there's a foul. Okay. Okay, one on one. Yep. It's on Velarand. It's her first, and it is team foul number seven. So now with 14 and a half seconds to play in the first half, Thomas will be shooting free throws on the other end. Megley at the line. She's one for two at the stripe tonight as a team. Thomas three for five at the free throw line. Megley averages 11 points a game. She had 17 when these two teams met earlier. We are tied at 27. Ten to play. Owens, double team, kick it back out high, four seconds and three. They got to get it off, skip pass, Rother to the baseline, a runner, no good. And we go to halftime. Exactly where we started, nothing has been decided. Okarchi and Thomas tied at 27, we'll take a break. Halftime continues from Okarchi after this. You're watching playoff basketball on Scordal, presented by High Plains Insurance. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and uh, Grellner Insurance and Okarchi cares about their customers, working with them to get the best price of insurance possible. For home and auto insurance, crop farm and livestock or commercial insurance, Grellner Insurance will deliver convenience and consistency. Let the Grellners make you a part of their family. See Missy, David, or Sam at Grellner Insurance Agency, 118 North Main Suite B in Okarchi. Give them a call at 405-263-7676 or find them online at grellnerins.com. Proud to back the Warriors and Lady Warriors. Planning an auction? Look no further than JKJ Real Estate and Auction Company to sell your real estate, farm machinery, vehicles, and equipment. Contact Keith James and Jerry Junkie and Enid, Lon Sturgeon and Mino, Doug Walker and Crescent, and Chad Greb and Helena, or LD Rapp and Wakita. Let their hardworking and experienced staff conduct a successful auction for you. Since 1968, JKJ Auction and Real Estate has been helping you say sold. At 1301 East Willow and Enid, 580-233-9800, and jkjauction.com. When you're in the market for a new truck, what typically goes through your mind? Hi, it's John Johnson at Johnson's of Kingfisher. Is it make, the model, and from where? The Ram 1500s and 2500s are outstanding trucks, so it might just be the dealership you choose. At Johnson's of Kingfisher, our auto family has been providing Oklahoma families with quality trucks and great customer service for more than 90 years. Not many dealerships can say that. Come meet our family and take advantage of the great pricing on new Ram 1500s and 2500s during the Ram Power Days at Johnson's of Kingfisher. Yes, sir. You simply can't beat the Ram 1500s and 2500s. Hi, it's Jeff Johnson here at Johnson's of Kingfisher. The 1500s and 2500s are Hemi-powered, designed for comfort, and programmed with the latest technology. Start by first having a look at the new 1500s and 2500s featuring Ram Power Day pricing at johnsonsofkingfisher.com. Then come meet the kind of dealership found in a place like Kingfisher. From the short to our award-winning service department, find a friendly auto family right here at Johnson's of Kingfisher Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram. Same name, same family since 1927. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. For almost a century, Sooner Co-op has been at the heart of the communities they serve. In O'Keene, Fairview, Loyal, Hitchcock, and Homestead, Sooner Co-op has been a big part of the lives of area farmers, ranchers, and residents. 
grain handling, fertilizer, farm and ranch supplies, fuel, tire service, and the convenience store in Fairview. The Sooner Co-op is proud to serve Blaine, Major, and Kingfisher counties for almost 100 years and looks forward to 100 more. Sooner Co-op is proud of our kids, whether a whippet, jacket, or a raider. Find them online at SoonerCo-op.com. Wiggins Auctioneers is a full-service auction company well-versed in selling farm and ranch land, minerals, commercial and residential properties, as well as equipment, estate, and trust liquidations. In order to better serve our clients, Wiggins Realty offers conventional for-sale listings as well as buyer representation. Whether buying or selling, auction or conventional, we want to be your trusted company. Wiggins Auctioneers, three generations strong and setting the standard since 1963. Little League Baseball and Softball are right around the corner. Are you looking for a one-stop shop for all your uniform and gear needs? Make one call to Snow Tree Ventures. Not only can they get all of your custom uniforms, but they have team slides and socks available too. Don't forget about team pictures. Yes, Snow Tree covers all the bases. Just make one call to Becky at Snow Tree Ventures. 405-204-8478. That's 405-204-8478. Eight four seven eight. So call today. Finally, it's time to get that driver's license. But which option to choose? The DMV with the long lines, the not-so-pleasant desk clerk. That's the way it has to be. And taking off work and still not getting in. This office is now closed. Or go to Cowboy Driving Academy. With a relaxed atmosphere, they make it convenient for you, whether it's after hours, on holidays, or even inclement weather. For details, go to CowboyDriving.com. Cowboy Driving Academy. They keep you moving. Well, isn't that nice? In OKC, go to alertdrivingok.com. Well, we thought it would be a good ball game, and it is. Halftime, our girls' winner's bracket regional ball game here from Okarchi, and the Lady Warriors and Thomas Lady Terriers are tied at 27, the way the ball game played out. Okarchi led early on 4 to nothing and 6 to 2, 9 to 5, and then 17 to 12 at the end of the first quarter. It was Thomas with the second quarter push that tied the ball game up at 24. Then a three-pointer for Okarchi put them back up by three at 27-24. And a couple of a free throw and a basket down the stretch by Thomas late. And we're tied at 27. Scoring in the contest for Thomas Berkeley Wright with 10 to lead the way. Kyla Megley with six points. Caitlin Jones has five. Shaley Maddox with four. And Jernay Roberts with two. For Okarchi, they were led in the first half by Ryan Whitrock. A couple of threats. Actually, take it back. Sophie Vandendrieschi with two three pointers. She had eight. Ryan Whitrock added six. Madison Owens with five. Carson Valorand and Emma Stover with four points apiece. Okarchi, four of four from the free throw line. Knocked down three three pointers and turned it over 12 times. Thomas, four of seven from the free throw line. A couple of three point makes and nine turnovers. Halfway through this one, tied at 27. We'll take a break and be right back. Second half is coming up from Okarchi. You're watching Playoff Basketball on Scordal, presented by High Plains Insurance. Our middle daughter actually has a heart defect, and uh, we didn't find that out until we found out um, when she was about 12, she had a genetic disorder. She has two right coronary arteries and no left. Luckily to this day, she hasn't had any symptoms, but you know, there's always that chance that something will happen. Um, and it's, it's kind of scary. She has to visit the cardiologist every once in a while, more often than you and I definitely would, just to get CAT scans and MRIs to make sure everything is still going the way it's supposed to go. But every year when that happens... Are you looking for a bank that provides excellent security and safety for your account information? Then Bank Central is C. The High Plains Insurance Agency takes pride in keeping up with many changes in the crop insurance industry and keeping their insurers informed of these changes. The goal is to help each farmer customize their crop insurance to meet their needs. Thanks for your continued business. And remember, call Amy, Carissa, or Danny at High Plains Insurance in Medford and Loyal at 580-395-2447 or toll free at 1-800-346-4056 for a quote today. Check a score from up at the Pond Creek Hunter Sub-Regional. And at halftime, Calumet girls over Woodland 28 to 15. The winner of that ball game will take on the winner of this ball game for the regional championship on Saturday night. Right here, Saturday night, Tuesday night. 
Normally <laughs> would be Saturday Normally night. would be Saturday night. And, of course, everybody comes here for four games on Monday and then four games on Tuesday trying to punch that ticket to the area tournament. Pioneer girls beat Depew here earlier, 52-43. to The OBA girls beat Wellston up at uh, Pond Creek, 48-33 to this afternoon. And then the Pioneer boys beat Drummond by 20, or Drum Ride, excuse me, 60-40. to And the Woodland boys into the season for OBA, 64-54 to up in Pond Creek. Okarchi basketball as we get ready for the second half in a tie ball game, 27 all. So glad to have you with us wherever you may be watching from tonight on Scordle and all kinds of different places. There is a turnover leading to Sydney Hampton on the other end, missing the layup. And just another really ill-advised pass by Okarchi just on a simple rotation in their offense. And then Thomas misses a layup on the other end. We've We've heard that before. Now back-to-back -back turnovers for Okarchi to start the third quarter. They've got 14 in the ball game. I was going to say, whoever can take care of the ball in the second half I think is going to have a shot to win this game. So obviously early on we look looks a little bit in favor of Thomas. Berkeley right, 10 first half points, throws one across the line. That was almost intercepted, but Sidney Hampton comes up with it. There's Damn. a turnover. Bounce pass underneath, and we're going back the other way. Three Okarchi turnovers. They, I don't think they've gotten a shot off yet here in the third quarter, but they've turned it over three times. We've had four turnovers and a missed layup so far. Yeah. So it's really started out like very clean. <laughs> Skip pass right side. Berkeley right thrown away. Another turnover. You wonder. Sloppy play. We've seen it today. How much that might have to do with the COVID situation, the lack of games and practices and long periods of time without playing. But I guarantee you, if you win a gold ball, you're going to love that gold ball no matter what happens this year. Yeah. That oh. gold ball will still be gold in the trophy case. No doubt. No matter how many times you turn it over, right? That's right. Nice. Oh, nice bounce pass, but right into the hands of Ryan Whitrock. Man. I think that's six turnovers now between uh, the two. Yep, exactly right. Three each way now. Goodness. Almost two minutes into the third quarter. No points and six turnovers. Madison Owens. Skip it right side to Ryan Whitrock for three. And the rebound corralled by Sidney Hampton. Maddox across the timeline to right. A little tentative. Pull it back out. Gets that 2-3 zone. To the baseline, Maddox, and she did. She traveled to the basketball. Another turnover. Seven? Yep. Jaden Rother will check in for Okarchi, and Journey Roberts will check in for Thomas. Yep, seven combined turnovers and no points here in the first two and a half minutes of the third quarter. Nice. Jaden Rother, little drop pass underneath. Emma Stover, but better defense, and here comes Thomas. Sydney Hampton, bounce pass underneath to Jernay Roberts, who scores. First one to not turn it over, scores. Thomas has the lead for the first time. Oh, and now look at uh, uh, look at at uh, Caitlin Jones. She's holding her knee. I think she's just adjusting. I think she might have just tweaked it a little bit. Yeah, she's trying to walk it off. Pass deflected, but into the hands of Owens. They'll work it around the perimeter, posting up inside. Good move. Is Valorand a little strong with the left hand, and the rebound corralled by Sidney Hampton. Here comes Hampton, double teamed on the wing. 
No, she's able to find Caitlin Jones, and then Jones is fouled. A good cut there by Caitlin Jones. Owens just picked up her third foul. Caitlin Jones, the line for two. First time she's been to the stripe tonight. Misses the free throw. Jones one for two from the stripe. The lead is three. Jaden Rother holds right side. Silly Val foul. Valorand is fouled by Roberts. Uh, Coach Petrie shaking his head there. I mean, really, Thomas has done a good job ever since they've switched to the zone, really packing it inside and forcing Karchi to take outside shots. Three in the corner off the inbound. Jaden Rother missed it, but an offensive rebound. They'll try it again. Owens left side to Vanden Dries. He drops it off to Valorand, and Valorand is fouled. Two free throws are coming. Berkeley Wright will pick up her first. Valorand goes to the line for the first time. She has four points, a couple of field goals back in the first half. Thirty twenty nine, one one-point lead. Berkeley right to the basket. Missed the shot. Rebound to Valoran. We will tick down to the halfway mark of the third quarter. One-point ball game. Lady Terriers on top. Jaden Rother sliding right with the dribble. Now passes cross-court near side to, Jay, to Jaylee Rother. Down the lane, Madison Owen. She'll score. And Okarchi back on top. Good tough move there by Owens. You know, Karchi ends up getting it back on the turnover. 14 Thomas turnovers. For the lead. Got it. Oh. Ball will stay with Okarchi. Madison Owens out between the rings against that Thomas 2-3 zone. Good call. Travel, unforced turnover. She really wasn't being pressured. She just turned the ball over. 16 Okarchi turnovers. She needs to pull her knee pads up, too. And they'll give it right back. Another travel. We're talking about Okarchi and Having a tough time scheduling games this year with the COVID and the quarantine and all that. They did play Class 6A U.S. Grant. <laughs> Keeping in mind an enrollment of over 1,000 kids, they won the game 67-9. to Yeah. Okarchi beat U.S. Grant, a 6A school, 67-9. to Vanden Drieschi knocks down the triple from the top of the key. Definitely a foul. It is a 7-0 run for the Lady Warriors. Jay Lee Rother picks up the foul, it's her first. Three minutes to play, third quarter. Three attempt in the corner, left short. Kayla Megley. Other way, Madison Owens, fouled on the drive on the floor. Kyla Megley will pick up her second. Vanden Dreeshi back up high, finding Jaylee Rother. To Vanden Dreeshi for three, yes. Boy. Sophie Vanden Dreeshi on fire. She's got 14, her second three-pointer here in the quarter. And you can tell she's confident. 
10-0 run for Okarchi. They lead by seven. Now, Coach Petrie wants a timeout. Let's we'll see if he gets it. I think he will. Timeout, Thomas. 2.31 to play third quarter. Okarchi 37, Thomas 30. You're watching basketball playoffs on Scordal, presented by High Plains Insurance. SAS Insurance has many options when it comes to protecting life's biggest investments in Oklahoma. From home, auto, and farm, let us help you find the best rates and discounts to cover your needs. Give us a call for a free quote. Go Warriors! First Bank is a proud supporter of Okarchi Warrior Basketball. Visit us on the web at www.firstbankokarchi.com. Take us around the world with our internet banking, mobile banking, and debit cards. Everyone at First Bank wishes the boys and girls good luck. Member FDIC. Is your school or booster club looking for ways to fundraise? Let Downtown Threads create a custom website to showcase all your school apparel. You pick the design and the garment, we do the rest. We will handle all the payments and cut you one check when the website is closed. Call today, 580-237-7060. Downtown Threads, proudly supporting all local high school athletes. Dom Nelson and Adam Dieselhorse back with you in Okarchi. Ethan Sunkin, our producer engineer. Caden LaFortune and Bryce Miller on cameras tonight from beautiful Okarchi High School's gymnasium. And uh, Lady Warriors on top of the Lady Terriers from Thomas, 37 to 30. And a turnover, another one for Thomas as they've not been able to hold on to the basketball here in the second half. That is seven turnovers in the third quarter. At one point, they led. They led 30 to 27, but it's a 10-0 run for Okarchi. That lead now 37 to 30 for the Lady Warriors. Owens hands off right side to Jay Lee Rother to the baseline, cut off. Under two to play in the third quarter. Rother out between the rings, shadowed out high by Shaylee Maddox, and now Maddox is fou fouling as Rother hits the floor. It's her second. Quite a run by the Lady Warriors here. Calumet with a double digit lead on Woodland up in Pond Creek, so. It's a little bit of a rivalry, isn't it? Kind of a geographic rivalry. Those two very good programs, Calumet and Okarchi, what, about 10 miles difference between them here? Oh, yeah, 15 definitely. or 15 miles? Yeah, you bet. They play usually every year, too, yeah. Be doing my homework on that if that happens. This has been a really good quarter for Okarchi after they had that extremely sloppy start to the quarter. You know, Thomas with just three points, they've been just very sloppy this whole quarter. Little 13 foot jumper just inside the free throw line is missing by Shaylee Maddox, but she, she was fouled by Vandendry. She that's her third. Maddox will be at the line to shoot too. Yeah, they didn't play this year because they were supposed to play back on November 10th, and that was the first game that was postponed. Second free throw attempt. One of two. That'll break that run to make it 37 to 31. Three for Vandendrieschi. Offensive rebound for Stover. Ooh, good to the basket goes Whitrock, but she had it taken away by Berkeley Wright. Good defense there by Wright. Kind of thought Okarchi might try to settle for one shot with a six-point lead, but there was quite a bit of time on the clock. Not a good decision. Whoa, Ooh, good tried pass. to thread the needle on that bounce pass, and she did, but the travel called. 
She threaded the needle with the pass, but Ryan Whitrock traveled with it. Yeah, I don't think that was a travel. I kind of agree with Coach Mitchell. She jump stopped and put her pivot foot forward and then came back. I mean, she has the right to establish that, so. No, she wasn't back court. She had not established. <laughs> she had All she three was points. halfway across. Exactly right. Up the oh, window, big. up and in. Sydney Hampton's first basket of the ball game. Makes it a four-point game going to the fourth quarter. Okarchi 37, Thomas 33. We'll take a break and be right back. Final eight minutes coming up. You're watching Playoff Basketball on Scordal, presented by High Plains Insurance. As a local, member-owned electric cooperative, Cimarron Electric is committed to providing the highest quality of service at a reasonable price. We're dedicated to serving our member owners with integrity, accountability, innovation, and a commitment to community. For more information, call or visit our website. Cimarron Electric Cooperative, serving Northwest Oklahoma since 1936 and powering the needs of a new generation. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Now going to the fourth quarter here on Okarchi up in Pond Creek. That ball game's gotten tight. 35-33, Calumet leads Woodland in the fourth quarter after Calumet led at the half, 28-15. So a big third quarter for Woodland, just like Okarchi had a pretty good third quarter here after getting down by three and scoring 10 straight. A huge basket by Hampton right there at the end of the quarter. Out high to Caitlin Jones into the corner. Shaley Maddox from the baseline. Reverse layup off the bottom of the backboard. Rebound picked up by Emma Stover. Here comes Okarchi leading by four. Ahead right side, Ryan Whitrock to the baseline. Reach in that will go against Caitlin Jones. I believe it's her first. Journey Roberts, a junior, will check back into the contest for Thomas. She has four points tonight. On the inbound, they're going to call an offensive foul on Emma Stover. That is her third. Megley into the half court, right into the trap. Picks up her dribble, is able to find Jernay Roberts. Right side three in the corner for Caitlin Jones. No good. Rebound is tapped out high. And on the run. Here comes Jaylee Rother. She travels. I'll give it right back. Say that Shaley Maddox travels. A lot of travels have been yep. called. Carson Valoran back into the ball game. And once again, in the playoffs, you get officials who you haven't seen before that aren't familiar with you. and They're not familiar with the style of play sometimes. That happens. It's an adjustment you have to make. A three on the right side. That one is no good by Ryan Whitrock. And on the rebound, a foul that will go against... Whitrock, that'll be her first. Team foul number five. Neither team has scored here in the third quarter. 6.40 to play, 37-33 Okarchi. The left elbow, Megley into the nice. lane, scores with the right hand. She has eight. It's a good move by her. One possession game, 37-35. To the baseline, Whitrock. She's fouled. Foul 
Megley just picked up her third. Whitrock at the stripe. First of two up and in. Could make it a two possession lead. Got it. You know what wins ball games, Adam? Free throws. Eight for eight. Is that what they are? Eight for eight. 39-35 the score. Okarchi's not missed the line tonight. And they've stopped turning the ball over so much, yeah. too, like they did the first of the third quarter. Ooh. Roberts in the baseline. Fouled. Valorant will pick up her second. And that on the next one will put Thomas in the one and one, but not yet. Out high right to Caitlin Jones. Bounce pass across the lane. Picked away and picked up. We're going the other way. Vanden Dreese all the way to the basket off the window and in as she pumps her fist. She has 16 points tonight. She's a good player. Lead is 641-35. Caitlin Jones in the half court. Jones all the way to the cup. She'll be fouled and we'll go to the free throw line. Owens will pick up. I've got Madison Owens for four. Let's see. The, get it on her. I think they did. Nope. It's on Jaylee Rother, her second. Caitlin Jones, two free throws. It's big free throws there by the senior. Thomas is 8 of 13 from the free throw line. And we've got a timeout. 5.25 to play in the ball game. 41-37 Okarchi will take a break. You're watching Playoff Basketball on Scordal, presented by High Plains Insurance. Grellner Insurance and Okarchi cares about their customers, working with them to get the best price of insurance possible. For home and auto insurance, crop farm and livestock or commercial insurance, Grellner Insurance will deliver convenience and consistency. Let the Grellners make you a part of their family. See Missy, David, or Sam at Grellner Insurance Agency, 118 North Main, Suite B in Okarchi. Give them a call at 405-263-7676 or find them online at grellnerins.com. Proud to back the Warriors and Lady Warrior. Now keeping an eye on the Woodland Calumet game, tied at 43 in the fourth quarter. Hero Karchi leads Thomas 41 to 37. Glad to have you with us wherever you may be watching on the Scordle family. Well, I know Coach Hardaway is watching because he reminded me mostly everybody's been doing three man officiating all year. And obviously because of the playoffs and numbers, you're seeing a two-man crew. And there is an adjustment to that for officials. I think these guys have done a fantastic I job. I think they have. They really have done a good job. That'd be big. Three top of the key, wide open. That is Madison Owens. Second triple of the night for her. Seventh of the ball game for Okarchi. Not a good pass. Oh, good hustle as Owens nearly had the steal but couldn't save it. It's a seven-point lead, 44-37. to 37. Second matchup of the season between these two teams. Thomas beat Okarchi 52-43 on January 15th. Inside, hesitation, up and in for Jernay Roberts. Four and a half to play, a five-point game. The scoring has really come down. You know, we talked about this being a, you know, possibly upper 50, 50s point game. I don't know if we're going to get there or not. 
tie up on the rebound. The arrow stays on that end. Yeah, I think I said before the ball game, I thought it would, I thought it might be in the 40s, but then I thought later on after that quick start, they'd blow right through the 40s, but here we are with 414 to play, 44-39, and there's oh. another turnover. You know, it's it's kind of actually pleasant to see officials actually truly call walks. I yeah. mean, we, you know, and that's what, when you get really good officials like that, they're going to call everything, so. Jernay Roberts is fouled. Jernay Roberts coming off the bench for Thomas has been big tonight. She'll go right back to that line. Valoran picked up her third. Roberts' first trip to the line, she has four points. Really good crowd here tonight too, Tom. Socially distanced, they have every other aisle blocked off. And the rows are all separated. They do a good job. Stover back into the ball game for Okarchi. As Valorant will take a seat. One of two at the line for Roberts. Forty-four to forty, halfway through the fourth quarter, under four minutes to play. Another turnover. Twenty-one turnovers for Okarchi. It's crazy, and they're up by four points. How many does Thomas have? Mid. 15 to Thomas has 19. Ninth man, wow. There's another one, I There's think. There's a ball deflected up into the air. Thomas will keep this possession. Ooh. Wow. Shot off the back of the rim by Berkeley Wright. Into the half court, Rother. Out high to Madison Owens right down the lane. Had the ball stripped out of bounds, and it will stay on that end. Madison Owens, we talked about the fact she's the only senior on this Okarchi roster. Sage Griswold back into the ball game. Jay Lee Rother will take a seat. Vanden Dreesy's had a big night tonight. Cut off on the baseline, back out to Owens. And around the perimeter left side to Rother. Vanden Dreesy right side to Griswold. Back to Vanden Dreesy in the far corner. Float one underneath and contact and free throws are coming. Stover to the line. It's a good look inside there. Megley just picked up her fourth. And before Stover goes to the line, Coach Petrie wants to call a timeout. Exactly three minutes to play in the ball game. Okarchi leads Thomas 44 to 40 and we'll take a break. You're watching playoff basketball coverage on Scordal, presented by High Plains Insurance. Planning an auction? Look no further than JKJ Real Estate and Auction Company to sell your real estate, farm machinery, vehicles, and equipment. Contact Keith James and Jerry Junkie and Enid, Lon Sturgeon and Mino, Doug Walker and Crescent, and Chad Greb and Helena, or LD Rapp and Wakita. Let their hardworking and experienced staff conduct a successful auction for you. Since 1968, JKJ Auction and Real Estate has been helping you say sold. At 1301 East Willow and Enid, 580-233-9800 and jkjauction.com. Now Woodland has come from 13 down at the half to take the lead on Calumet, 49 to 45 in the fourth quarter up at Pond Creek. Those two teams will matriculate their way down here for two, for a Monday and Tuesday. Winner of this ball game will play for a trip to the area winners bracket championship game a week from yesterday, next Friday night. And that will be at the Stride Bank Center in Enid. Got a feeling I know where we might be next week. Stover at the line. Two for two tonight. Three for three. Big free throw there. As this free throw here puts it at three possessions. Three minutes to go. Actually, two possessions. I'm sorry. A full two count. possessions, you yeah. Bet. Well, that shot was That's flat. the first free throw miss of the night, but the offensive rebound by Rother. 
I just kind of looked over at Coach Petrie, and you can see him just kind of drop his head there. That's a big missed opportunity for Thomas on that rebound there. Well, just, they wanted to go pick and roll that time off the ball screen, but nice. now they'll float one inside to Stover up and in. Emma Stover, she's coming up big. Forty-seven to forty. And an empty trip. Here comes Okarchi with two seventeen to play. They're up by seven with the basketball now. That was big there for Thomas. They really needed that basket on the other end, and just a simple jump shot and putting it off the glass instead of trying to force the layup would probably have been the ideal move. You know, with two minutes to go there, I'm sure Coach Mitchell is not very happy about that shot. Timeout, 2.01 to play. Seven-point lead for Okarchi. We'll take a break. You're watching the Game of the Week playoff basketball coverage on Scordo, presented by High Plains Insurance. When you're in the market for a new truck, what typically goes through your mind? Hi, it's John Johnson at Johnson's the Kingfisher. Is it make, the model, and from where? The Ram 1500s and 2500s are outstanding trucks, so it might just be the dealership you choose. At Johnson's of Kingfisher, our auto family has been providing Oklahoma families with quality trucks and great customer service for more than 90 years. Not many dealerships can say that. Come meet our family and take advantage of the great pricing on new Ram 1500s and 2500s during the Ram Power Days at Johnson's of Kingfisher. Yes, sir. You simply can't beat the Ram 1500s and 2500s. Hi, it's Jeff Johnson here at Johnson's of Kingfisher. The 1500s and 2500s are Hemi-powered, designed for comfort, and programmed with the latest technology. Start by first having a look at the new 1500s and 2500s featuring Ram Power Day pricing at johnsonsofkingfisher.com. Then come meet the kind of dealership found in a place like Kingfisher. From the Room to our award-winning service department. Find a friendly auto family right here at Johnson's of Kingfisher Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram. Same name, same family since 1927. Under two minutes to play here on Okarchi. Thomas trailing by seven with the basketball coming out of the timeout. Sydney Hampton out between the rings. Thomas needs to make something happen offensively and can't afford to waste a whole lot of time. Karchi doing a nice job, just packing it in. And off to Caitlin Jones, will play catch out high. Deep three for Jones over the zone. That's a big one. That was huge. She's in double figures with 11. Third three-point make of the night. For Thomas, it's 47-43. Now they need a turnover. So Thomas back to the man now. 107 to play. Ah, the runner crawls off no good by Madison Owens. And the rebound is tracked down in the corner by Caitlin Jones. This one's not over yet, folks. Yeah. Ahead to Berkeley right on the left wing to Jones. 48 seconds to play. Kind of surprised on the other end if you're a Karchi, try to hold the ball for and make them foul you. Not a good pass, but they got away with one there. Megley's fouled. Megley took the ball up and just created the contact with Stover, I think it was. Vanderishi, I think, I believe. Oh, Vanderishi with four. Megley, two free throws up and in. That'll make it a one possession game. Valorand and Whitrock back into the ball game for Okarchi. 37 seconds to play. Big free throws for Megley. She's in double figures with 10. And Thomas is going to stay in this pressure here with 30 some seconds to go. Here, Okarchi, you got to take care of the ball. There you go. Get it to your leader. Good decision. Now get it. There you go. Good job. Out high to Owens, your senior, and she's fouled. Berkeley Wright, 23.6 seconds to play. You'll send Owen to the free throw line, two for two at the line tonight. She has 10 points, and they'll she'll have to sit through a timeout first. 23.6 seconds to play. Okarchi by a deuce. We come back. 
down the stretch here on Okarchi. It's the game of the week on Scordo, presented by High Plains Insurance. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. Well, the number one team in the state in Class A is Van Oss. They're having no trouble with Porham tonight, 79-32. to 32. The score in that one. Garber, a big winner tonight, 58-17 to 17 over Davenport. And up at uh, Pond Creek Hunter High School, Woodland leading Calumet, 50-46 to 46 in the fourth quarter. Man, that is, that is wild, that score. Yeah. It was a 13-point game, Calumet on top of the half. Big free throw. This next one's even bigger. Could make it a two-possession ball game. How many does Owens have now? Madison now has 11. Big miss. Offensive rebound. Saved out high. It was back tap, and then Owens traveled. She did. She slid across the floor. Hey, been a little bit of contact there, but I like that the officials didn't call it and let him play. It's a big opportunity here for Thomas. 20 seconds to play. They're down three. If you're Thomas here, you oh, goodness. The big turnover. Now they've got to chase and get a foul. Foul Va Van Der Ishi, who has not been to the free throw line yet tonight. Eight seconds to play. One free throw, in essence, will put it away. Yeah, that's a tough turnover, Thomas. It's been what we talked about the whole game. Everybody turning the ball over so much, and it ended up being a turnover here, and then we had a missed free throw on the other end. So That'll make it a two-possession game. They have gotten it done at the free throw line tonight. 11 of 13, now 12 of 14. 50 to 45, three in the corner, that'll do it. Okarchi will move on to the regional championship game on Saturday night, on Tuesday night. As they knock off Thomas, 50 to 45, as the two teams wave at each other, you got a feeling they may see each other again. It yeah. can happen. Yeah, I think so too. I think those teams are pretty evenly matched. I, I kind of felt like Okarchi, you know, had the upper hand most of the game. Uh, I feel like they kind of deserve to win the game. But, man, I don't think Thomas probably played their best game today I, just from a turnover standpoint. And uh, we're just kind of sloppy the whole game. We'll take a break. Okarchi now 14-5. and five. Thomas falls to 11-8. and eight. We'll put a wrap on this one. When we come back, you're watching Playoff Basketball on Scordo, presented by High Plains Insurance. For almost a century, Sooner Co-op has been at the heart of the communities they serve. In O'Keen, Fairview, Loyal, Hitchcock, and Homestead, Sooner Co-op has been a big part of the lives of area farmers, ranchers, and residents. Grain handling, fertilizer, farm and ranch supplies, fuel, tire service, and the convenience store in Fairview. The Sooner Co-op is proud to serve Blaine, Major, and Kingfisher counties for almost 100 years and looks forward to 100 more. Sooner Co-op is proud of our kids, whether a whippet, jacket, or a raider. Find them online at SoonerCo-op.com. Wiggins Auctioneers is a full-service auction company well-versed in selling farm and ranch land, minerals, commercial and residential properties, as well as equipment, estate, and trust liquidations. In order to better serve our clients, Wiggins Realty offers conventional for-sale listings as well as buyer representation. Whether buying or selling, auction or conventional, we want to be your trusted company. Wiggins Auctioneers, three generations strong and setting the standard since 1963. Okarchi beats Thomas 50-45, to 45, so Okarchi will play at 6 o'clock on Tuesday night against the winner of the Woodland Calumet game. Last we heard, Woodland was up four late in that contest. Thomas will fall to the consolation bracket 
and they will play at 1 o'clock on Monday. They'll take on OBA right here in Okarchi. The way this ball game played out, Okarchi led most of the ball game, 17 to 12 after one quarter. We were tied at 27 at the half, and then Okarchi opened up a 37-33 lead after three and held on to win 50 to 45. Thomas led by uh, Caitlin Jones with 11, Berkeley Wright with 10, also Kyla Megley with 10 points. Jernay Roberts off the bench with seven, Shaley Maddox with five, and Sydney Hampton with two. For Okarchi, they were led by Sophie Vandenrishi's 18 points tonight. Madison Owens has 11, Ryan Whitrock with eight, Emma Stover with seven, Carson Valorand with six. So Karchi 14 and five moves on, plays for a trip to area on Tuesday. Thomas will fall to 11 and eight and they'll take on OBA on Monday. We've got one more ball game coming your way. Boys championship, our boys first round regional action between Thomas and Okarchi. We'll continue after this. You're watching playoff basketball on Scordal presented by High Plains Insurance. <laughs> 